Hi folks, I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're going to be talking about why are you getting migraine headaches. First of all, don't be duped into thinking that it's just one thing causing your migraine headaches. There's usually multiple reasons for any chronic illness, including migraine headaches. In my clinic, we look for all these reasons. Today we're going to be talking about one of them. You may have this, you may not, but a lot of my patients do. And that's called a serotonin deficiency. Serotonin is a very important neurotransmitter that's used in various areas in our brain. One of those areas are our frontal lobes, the top of our brain. One of the functions of our frontal lobes is to act as a brake pedal on another area of our brain called the fight or flight part of our brain or our midbrain, also known as our mesencephalon. What happens in migraine headaches and a lot of other disorders is this area of the brain starts to fire too much, it gets unstable, and it starts to cause various symptoms, one of which is our migraine headaches because it'll cause dilation of your blood vessels. This guy needs a brake pedal all the time. It's our fight or flight or stress area of our brain, and our frontal lobes primarily do that. When we run low on serotonin, our frontal lobes stop working like they should, and this brain, part of the brain starts to escape. This area of the brain also perceives light and sound, which is why a lot of you are suffering from sound and light sensitivity when you're getting a migraine. Now, what would cause a serotonin deficiency? Again, it could be many, many reasons. One of them that we commonly see is a genetic mutation on genes that make a very important enzyme, and that enzyme is called MTHFR. I'm not going to tell you what the name of it is. We're just going to call it MTHFR. It's an acronym for a very long name. Now, we make our, I'm going to explain what, why that is. MTHFR converts folic acid, which is inactive vitamin B9. Inactive. We cannot use folic acid in our body, folks, but this is the way vitamin B9 exists in nature and in more, uh, and, and, and most like really bad supplements. Folic acid gets converted into methylfolate, which is the active form of B9, by way of this enzyme. Many of you out there that are suffering, and I've seen them in my clinic, are not making this enzyme, so you're not converting folic acid into methylfolate. And that's a problem because in order for us to make serotonin, we need the active form of vitamin B9 methylfolate. But if you're not making it due to a mutation on the genes that makes this enzyme, you're in trouble. You're going to have serotonin deficiency, which can lead to other things like depression, anxiety, and other neurological complaints. Now, the reason why I'm making this video, folks, is the only way you're going to know if you have this or not is to test for it. And that's what we do. We find out the underlying causes to migraine headaches. The answer, the, the solution to this is very simple. If you have this genetic mutation and you're not making methylfolate, it, then what we would do is we would supplement you with the already active form. You would avoid folic acid like it's poison, and we would put you on methylfolate. I've had a lot of patients where that was one of the reasons why they had migraine headaches. I'm Dr. Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.